Hey everybody, it's me, Jules, again. Okay, warning, spoilers, do not watch. Ma major spoiler alert. Okay, this new release of Young Avengers pretty much comes off on a good start. A really good start. It's kind of picking up where Children's Crusade left off. It's been like a year, I guess. Um, okay, pretty much it starts off, Kate wakes up in this spaceship for some reason with a beautiful view of the Earth below. But that's not as beautiful as the guy that he's with. Seriously, this guy is quicksilver hot. I almost mistaken him for speed because of the white hair. But it's actually the teen's possible new addition. Uh, Marvel Boy, also known as Mover, I, I guess it's pronounced. I don't speak Cree. Um, this guy, he has the potential to bring in more female comic book readers, possibly. Possibly just as much as Wiccan and Hulkling did. Possibly even more. And on Wiccan and Hulkling, um, despite agreeing to never become superheroes again after the death of their friends, you know, what happened in Children's Crusade, um, Hulkling is still fighting crime, but in just different forms. Um, although I wish he would have done a better job of shape-shifting into Spider-Man, because I do not see Spider-Man with individual toes on his, you know, on his feet. I mean, on his socks or whatever you call them. Um, that's that was just my only peeve there. Um, however, despite actually taking different forms, Wiccan eventually finds out, and they kind of have a lovers' quarrel there. It's kind of hard to figure it out at first as to why Hulkling is doing all this, but when thinking back on Children's Crusade, it kind of makes sense. Um, when Billy was going through a rough time coping, you know, with all the losses brought about by their heroics. But despite um, Ted being supportive of Billy, Hulkling really did not want to give up being a superhero. It's pretty much like one of the major things, like the binding passion that he and Billy shared. It's almost kind of like um, their livelihood that really connected them. And in a way, they did uh, actually, you know, come together when they were the Young Avengers, when they first became superheroes. It really was what brought them together. And it's like he doesn't want to live a lie. He doesn't want to act like all of the heroic things that they had done didn't matter or never existed. And also considering how little he has left, like superhero, uh, f crime fighting, and... Billy are pretty much the only things he has ever since the death of his mom. So in this issue, we're seeing a little bit more grievance in, in Hulkling. Yeah, of course, you know, during her funeral, or tossing of her ashes, of course, he's sad. But throughout the rest of the, you know, comics in uh, Young Avengers, we didn't really see that much. But here, we see him still grieving over the death of his mom. Also... Billy, being as kind as he can be, as usual, tries to fix the problem. However, it's not his best idea, and it's freaking me out. No, no, it seemed like a good idea, but it was just too good to be true. No, this is going to put a major strain on their relationship now, even worse than the time during the invasion. Oh, but I have, I gotta have faith. If they could survive an invasion taking a toll on their relationship, they can pretty much handle this too. I hope. No, my babies. I don't want to see Wicked and Hulkling being torn apart. No. Okay, panic attack over. As for the other new members, obviously, you can get a very big bratty vibe from Kid Loki. I mean, even as an adult, you already get that feeling from Loki. Like, yeah, he's sinister, but he is also, in a way, spoiled. And I only saw this kid for, like, a few seconds, and I immediately got that feeling. Like, yeah, mischievous, however bratty and snobby. And also, it's just a refreshing breath of air just to see the, another new character, Miss America, actually threaten to bash Kid Loki's head in. <gasps> Oh, I already love this girl already. Uh, the story is really keeping me engaged, especially because of what's happening in the end. Seriously, I want... I seriously did go into an even bigger panic 
in, in into a bigger panic mode than what you're seeing now. Uh, when I saw that, seriously, read it. It'll surprise you a little. Uh, the art is good. It's simple, but good. However, I just found it a little bit questionable of how Billy's character is designed since, you know, uh, Billy has a bit of a curly bangs and that earring. Um, I just couldn't help but think that it just makes him look like a smidge lit a smidge bit more gayer than usual. I mean, okay, yeah, sure. I have curly hair, so I have curly bangs, so who am I to judge? I mean, it does make him look a little bit more cute, but I just seriously miss the slightly spiky hair that he had back in Children's Crusade. But, you know, it's been a year, so hairstyles can change. Again, this issue really kept me suspensefully and eagerly engaged to... To actually read the next issue. I so want to get the new issue like right now. I really recommend it. I give it like 4.5 out of 5. Only because you know the art was just a smidge questionable. Okay guys that's all the input I have. I'll see you again. Bye bye.